This is Ben Doughty for Sugar Silk and Structure. Ryan Walsh, good to see you again, mate. Good to see you as well, Ben. I got the impression watching you up there on the days of a very confident, experienced veteran who thinks that's going to make all the difference and maybe looks at Sam Noakes as a bit of a young whippersnapper. Um, not all the difference. This quality, this... It's just a knowing. You know, sometimes when you say things... You can manifest them. I don't know what I've been saying to myself, and I know what I've been doing. So yeah, it's not really. It's never really about them. It's always about you. And on that day, as long as I wake up like I did last time, hungry, ready, which are, these are the things that you're preparing for. I've still got a month to prepare for that feeling. And then you just enjoy it. You enjoy it because it could be your last moment. You never know. And in my in my position, edge-wise, call it what you want. That's why I've got to do. That's why. That's why I'm. I'm lapping up. When you're young and you're you're inexperienced, you don't soak in probably the way you should. That's the thing, right? It's all very well having the the bloom of youth, but do you feel that the wisdom you gain from boxing constantly and sparring constantly and watching boxing, you gain so much more in the way of that old man knowledge, uh, figure of speech, old man? Hundred percent, because you doing. You have to learn by doing, but. Someone far cleverer and far more experienced than me said that youth is wasted on the young. <laughs> so I, I, I think I've got a youthful mind. I've always have. I've, I've got five, soon to be six children. I'm constantly around younger people. Uh, my girlfriend's ten years younger. It, it's a massive difference. So I've never felt old or looked old or acted old. But I can take from my experience, from that edge. So, yeah, that's, it's, it's, a, it's a big positive. You still look pretty much the same as you did several years ago. I first saw you uh, and, and your brothers. I noticed you, you and Liam first for, for obvious reasons. I can't remember which one it was, but it was the semi-finals or the quarter-finals up in Liverpool at the old, whatever that venue was, the kind of... Uh, Theatre place, yeah. Theatre place, yes. Um, Olympia. 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 Olympia, yeah. You, sorry. <laughs> Microphone at me when I'm talking. Olympia, you got it? Yeah. yeah. I don't know if it was you now or Liam, but one of you got what you regarded as a bad decision and initially refused to get out of the ring and just stood there? I think I, it was 14-14 with Paul Edwards and I was a little bit disgruntled by it because, it's a story for you, I heard a voice which I now know, which I remember at the time I thought it was, was Tony Bowie saying to his teammate, you won down Eddie and then it finished 14-14 and I lost on a count back but I'm not bitter, I'm well over that now. That was in the amateur day. I would hope so. <laughs> but it is what it is and you learn and my brother thanks to that result my brother Michael come back said I'm going to beat him we're looking at him like alright Michael fair player and he did come back and he did win the ABS so it was a good story in the end I'm just, it's a shame because it's a fascinating conversation I'm just hearing you're needed for a face off so listen thanks champ it had to be cut short but I wish you all the best of luck cheers man thank you very much thank you to everyone watching